What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Indoor coasters have been something that have fascinated me for a long time, especially with the additions of coasters like Supersonic Odyssey, French Revolution, Shred the Sewers, etc. But as I've continued my research on roller coasters over the last few years or so, I've come across some pretty odd ones that not many people have heard of or cared to know about. And of these coasters comes one today that I think will be super fun to highlight from none other than manufacturer Mack Rides. With a long layout built amongst many other rides and attractions, this coaster operates in an indoor amusement park located in Quebec City, Canada that features 18 attractions and rides, including a ferris wheel, arcade games, and an ice rink. However, in 2017, the park closed somewhat abruptly and the coaster went down for a number of years. So what happened, and what is this coaster, and where did it come from? This is the story of Mega Parks Electro. Back in the year of 1981, in a deserted part of Quebec City, Canada, a businessman by the name of Marcel Adams decided to open a mall under the name Les Galleries de la Capitale. Les Galleries de la Capitale was intended to have a plethora of shops, entertainment venues, and an assortment of other things, but due to unpopular demand, many of these places didn't work out, and as a result, went bankrupt. Well, fast forward seven years to 1988, and a new idea was put in place to help add to the success of the mall, an amusement park. Known as Mega Park, this new addition would be Canada's second largest indoor amusement park after the West Edmonton Mall and feature a ferris wheel, roller coaster, ice skating rink, and various other things of amusement design. And so construction began shortly following after design plans had been made, which involved the addition of, of course, that aforementioned roller coaster, Capital Express. Before it was built though, the park had needed and envisioned something that not only would be budget friendly, but appeal to all age groups, including adults. However, seeing as the West Edmonton Mall had already had attractions like Mindbender and Autosled, it would be difficult to find something unique that met those criteria. So, they turned to none other than roller coaster manufacturer Mack Rides of Germany, who they themselves had already established 25 roller coasters of the scale Mega Park wanted worldwide at the time. That seemed like a good investment to the park, and so design plans initiated and shortly thereafter were finalized. As a result, in 1988, Mega Park would open their very first family-style thrill coaster that would take riders to a median speed of just over 30 miles an hour and through a layout lasting roughly a minute. This layout consisted of a chain lift, turnaround, a few mild drops, and a large double helix to finish it off. Though simple, this little coaster would prove to be a major success for the park and for the next 29 years would operate to great acclaim and little issues. That's not to say it would last forever though. As with most coasters, eventually the thing got fairly rough and was in desperate need of some maintenance work as well as a majority of the rest of the rides in the park. That being said, consequently in 2017, the mall made the announcement that Mega Park along with Capital Express and all the other attractions in it would close indefinitely until further renovations were made. On January 18th, 2019, it reopened after a $40 million investment with 18 amusement rides, 14 of which were brand new, and the original four Mega Parks rides returning with restored and renamed features. Zenith, the continent's first ferris wheel without spokes, is exclusive to the new Mega Park, and Capital Express was renamed to Electro. It also received new steampunk style trains and mild track work particularly in the rough areas. Since then, it has been relatively well received and the addition of a suspended family coaster was also added to the park. As of now, Electro is once again operational though and can be ridden by anyone who cares to visit. I will say, the story has now caught up with us and there's not too much more to say about it, but I find the thing very intriguing, and it looks fun as a ride, and if not, would just make for a cool credit. That and a couple other indoor coasters I've seen would, so if any of you want to see some of those covered, just drop a comment down below. As always though, it's been a major pleasure creating new content for all of you, and I'd like to invite you to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's content, or any of the other stuff we've put out. It really does help, especially in reaching our goal of 10,000 subscribers, so I appreciate anything you guys can do. My name's Josiah, and this has been a history of Mega Parks Capital Express. Stay tuned for another video coming in a couple days, but until then, hope you guys have a good rest of your days, and we'll see you all there. See ya!